We're trying to work with communities for them to advise us what would work for them, what early warning system would work for them, and, and you know, along with our experts and the authorities, we will, you know, come to that conclusion. This is something that is needed every year. As we begin this new year, we think it's very timely to start thinking about or what early warning systems exist within our communities, within the city, and does everybody know what the, what the system is and how to respond and how to react. So um, today that is what we will be looking at. We have different presenters from like the hydrology unit, from um, um, the Met Office, um, different partners. What the Red Cross has been doing also is to work in vulnerable communities, for example, the Antelope Street Extension area, um, the Gianosha Boulevard area, the Lake High, in the Gungulung area, where they've set up committees where individuals who live in the community can be a part of this uh, early warning system network and whenever it goes out, they can disseminate the information quicker and faster to the people who live in those communities. Electronic plays have a major role in that? Yes, the, ele the electronic media plays a vital role in that, but also um, the information word of mouth as well because we live in some of these areas when these weather systems are coming and pass through sometimes we lose electricity sometimes we lose maybe a, a, a cell site or a cell tower that goes down so there are different ways of trying to disseminate the information